Hey guys, it's Blade again from Cardio Security. Today I'm here to talk to you about a new Alpine unit, the ILX W690D. Okay, so the ILX W690D, what does it do? So, main features are Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which are both wired, so via USB. Uh, it also has DAB radio, Bluetooth streaming and hands-free calls. It also has an HDMI input, as well as uh, three four volt preamps. So it's quite good spec. So I'm just gonna open up the box, same standard usual setup. I'm gonna open up the box, go through everything that comes in the box, and then we'll power it up and show you it working, okay? Okay, so here we have everything out of the box laid out in front of you. So we have the unit itself. I'll go into more depth than with that in a second. Now we'll just show you accessories quickly. So we have the main power harness. We have ISO on one end and direct connection in the other. Uh, just bear in mind when you do receive this, uh, all of the Alpine units, they do come disconnected with the power. So make sure you pin it in. So if you connect it and say, oh, it's not working, it's because you need to actually physically connect it. Um, next thing is you do get this big long um, RCA adapter plug, which is because you don't have RCA directly on the back of the unit, which keeps the unit nice and shallow. Um, so you actually have it on a, on a plug. So you have front, rear and sub pre-outs, and then you also have a front rear camera input, sorry, front camera input and rear camera input. So you can add an Alpine or even universal parking cameras to that. You also have a video input and video output harness here on an RCA, so you could add an extra screen or run something in there via AV. Uh, also you have a USB extension, so you have a right angle USB to go in the back of the unit and then a female USB to go around to your glove box or armrest so then you can connect your phone for CarPlay or Android Auto. You have a little pack of screws, so if you need to screw the unit to something. And then you have the microphone and the bracket that comes with the microphone and then your normal instruction manual. So that's it for accessory wise. In terms of the unit itself, so it is a seven inch touchscreen with touch buttons along the bottom, which is quite odd to see really. You tend to see them down the side. We have touch pads down the bottom. Um, as I've mentioned, it is a shallow bodied unit. So most stereos will come out to about here. This is nice and shallow. So installing is a lot easier, especially in specific vehicles. And then you have all of your connections on the back here. So we have your power connection, we have a video in and out connection, which was that harness that I showed you. We have HDMI input. So if you do have something that uses HDMI input, like an Amazon Fire Stick or Xbox, PlayStation, you can run it onto this, this is quite cool. Uh, you have a USB input. You have the DAB connection, uh, the CAN interface connection, and as well as your camera and pre-out uh, plug, which is that one that I showed you earlier. And this thing here is for your FM and AM radio. I forgot to mention these two here. So we've got mic input and your steering wheel control input. Those two left over. So it's a nice looking unit. So I'm gonna power it up now for you and show you it all turned on and we'll go through the basic features of the unit. Okay, so this is the unit powered on. So it's a nice bright screen. Like I said, it's seven inches. Your buttons do light up at the bottom here. They do only light up in white, so you can't change that color, unfortunately. But uh, background can be changed. You have your little tabs here. You've got CarPlay and Android Auto on the, on the left-hand side. They're currently grayed out. They will obviously light up when you connect your phone. And then you have separate um, connections for front and rear camera, so you can view them separately. Now swipe over. It is quite a nice, touch responsive unit and some units you find especially when you swipe over like this it's a little bit laggy and slow so this is quite nice and touch responsive a bit more like a phone uh, but here you have a few more connections here so you've got your DAB plus uh, audio settings a USB video connection uh, Bluetooth audio your phone phone book and everything your photos HDMI and aux and on the last page you can turn off the display go into your settings and then you actually have vehicle info as well that's essentially it. Now, your button's along the bottom. This middle button is your home button. Most people with Alpines previously will know what that is. You have your volume up and down. You have your mute button, so you can mute the system. You have voice command, so you use Siri, and then you have your phone. So I'll go into your phone and stuff like that. Okay, so one other thing I thought I'd mention, and this is quite a nice home screen, but you can actually select what you want on that home screen. So if you press and hold, 
certain feature, you can actually get rid of this particular thing, so chuck that one in the bin. And then you can put, let's say, Bluetooth audio, press and hold, move that over there. And you can then put something else, for instance, HDMI, put that there. So you can customize your home screen to how you like it. It's not even just the home screen, you can customize this screen here. And you can literally have whatever you want on there, so it's, it's, it's quite handy to have, so you can fully customize it to make it how you want it. Okay guys, so I thought I'd quickly show you Apple CarPlay Android Auto working, but I'm not gonna show you Apple CarPlay as it's we show you on every unit we review, and it's exactly the same on Android Auto, and I have an Android phone, which makes life easier for me. <laughs> but we have my Android phone, a USB-C connection here, and we have it plugged into the back of the unit, which is the USB connection there. So I'm gonna plug my phone in. It will charge the phone at the same time. And then we have it switched into Android Auto. So same as every other unit, um, obviously touch responsiveness is dependent on the unit itself, so this is nice touch responsive. Uh, but you have all of your usual connections, Waze, WhatsApp, um, Ringo if you need to use that, phone book, all of your usual connections. So it's nice and easy to, easy to use. I need to buy a more fun car. Anyway, sorry, that's the end of the video guys. That is the brand new Alpine ILX W690D. Uh, the CarPlay Android Auto, which is via wired USB connection, um, USB, uh, HDMI, Bluetooth and DAB unit, um, brand new up from Alpine. So that was a quick review on that, hope you enjoyed it. Um, now we do have this one available on our website at carreadysecurity.com and our sister company tuning store. Current retail price is $499.99, so please just check that out. Uh, make sure the price doesn't change, obviously that's of today's filming. Um, but we do have a few more of these videos coming up, so make sure you check us out. Please like, share and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>